Okay, as I was saying, um, I had an idea for a ground blind rifle stand or um, crossbow stand or rest. Um, went to Harbor Freight, I picked this up, made by Hallmaster roller stand. Uh, as you can see, this is kind of like what it looks like. Uh, this is the box, what it looks like. When you go over there, it was only about 15 bucks. Again, this project is, uh, should cost you less than about 20 bucks. Um, I want to go ahead and open this up and show you all the parts. I'm going to explain what it is that we're going to do here. Again, this should uh, cost you less than about 20 bucks, maybe 20 minutes of, of your time. So let's go ahead and open this up. It's all pretty much assembled. Here's the two legs. Here's the stand itself. Opens it up. Again, here's the handle. Loosen up the handle. That'll adjust the height for what you need. Lock it down. I really don't like this chrome piece, but I'm going to show you a really cool trick on that, on how to hide it, just in case. We'll put that aside. Here's the little hardware, little Allen wrench that it comes with. And this is the part that you're actually going to modify. This is the roller, sits on top, wood comes across it, rolls out. But what we're going to actually do here, I'm going to go ahead and pry this roller off. And these little ears that you see here on either side, I'm going to bend those flat. And then uh, what I'm going to do from there is put a, uh, as you saw in the other picture, the actual board that lays across there flat. I'm going to go ahead and do this and I'll come back. All right, I'm going to show you one little tip here that I found out the hard way. When you're taking this apart, there's a little piece of a rod that looks similar to this right on the inside. If you're not careful and you just unscrew this screw and you move everything around, that's going to get out of alignment and then you'll spend a little bit of time trying to get it back in place. So just take that off easy. And if you can get it, if you can see right inside there, you see what I'm talking about. Make sure that doesn't start sliding around it everywhere because it's just loose. I'm going to take this off, put this screw right back in there to keep it in place. And then I'm going to slide this in the hole of the uh, where it goes to. But the main thing I wanted to show you is be careful that you don't uh, get that pin out of place because you'll spend a few minutes trying to get it back in line. So I've already got one of the legs on there. I'm going to show you how it actually goes together. Take that just like this. Here's that little rod. All you're going to do is slide it through the hole there. Put the threads up. Put that right inside so that you can still see it. And then you're just going to tighten it down. That's how both legs go together. Here's a supplied Allen wrench. You're just going to tighten it up just like that till it gets tight. Another thing I would suggest, because it's happened to me a couple of times where these somehow wound up working loose, keep the Allen wrench in your hunting gear. You never know when you're out in the field that gets loose, it, it rattles, makes noise. Keep this with your hunting gear so if you need to tighten it up, you've got it with you. All right, uh, this is going to be the board that fits uh, across the uh, arrest. Uh, bought this from Home Depot. It was about 250, 260. All it is is a uh, half inch by two foot long popular. Uh, it's in their little hobby section where they sell this stuff. Uh, very soft wood, um, inexpensive. I'm uh, paint painting it flat black. Uh, again, just trying to keep everything dark. I also rounded off the edges just to kind of give it a clean look, uh, nothing sharp on there in case you lean over or hit your face up against it or something, never know. This is the bracket I told you about, uh, roller's been taken off, I already hammered these down flat, basic concept, I'm going to screw this to the bottom of it and I'll show you how that's going to look, and then you just mount this to the actual stand itself, and I'll come back and show you the rest. Okay, here is the finished piece for the top. For your uh, rest itself. This is the bracket. We bent it flat. Um, to mount it all I did was just get the center point of the board, lined it up with these holes here, and used a couple of screws on the end to screw it down. Uh, 
I use this style screw. Uh, has a little tapered end at the top. Uh, not really designed for this application. Uh, I did it only so that uh, it actually would sit flush with the top of the uh, board itself. Uh, what I've done in the past, uh, my first one I made, I used uh, the padding from a keyboard armrest that went all the way across so it sat nice and flat to give it a little cushion. I'm going to go ahead and put this on the stand and we'll show you the finished product. Well here's the finished product. Lades are on it. Here's that uh, piece that goes across the top. Again that's where the roller went. It's all bolted up. When you're sitting in your chair, if you have somebody else using it or for some reason it doesn't uh, feel right to, like it did before, it's a real quick adjustment. Raise, lower it, however you need to. Sometimes it's happened to me at the moment of having to take the shot. It's not quite right. It's just a real quick adjustment, up or down. As you can tell, it's just gone with the, uh, the blackout theme here to keep it dark. Okay, as I was saying, my last tip, just take any sort of a Sharpie marker, marks a lot, and just color this all black. Chances are it'll never be above the window opening, but just to be on the safe side, keep it all black just in case nothing can reflect off of that silver. So that's it. That's my quick under $20 rifle uh, slash um, crossbow stand. Yeah, it took me less than 30 minutes to make. Happy hunting.